Hello to all. In the second part, we will continue to review the features of the MiG-21 add-on for Prepar 3D from the Golden Key Studio. In this part, we will look at working with the navigation and the weapon systems. Let's take a look at the navigation system. Where are we now? Let's fly by VOR navigation system. RSBN is an analogous to TAKAN. And AV beacon frequencies can be used as well. By the way, on the central panel we see a printout of all the channels and frequencies that we have entered. It is very convenient. The developers did a good job. Here is the ARC RSBN or NAV, ADF switch. Switch it to NAV, RSBN. Set channel 10 on RSBN navigation panel. We can see how the arrow is triggered pointing to the boar station. To make sure that the arrow is working correctly, press this control button. When the control button is pressed, the arrow should show 178 degrees. This means that the RSVN channel is active and can be used. We turn towards the Vore station. Now we are flying with an autopilot in stabilization mode, which leads us in level flight to the Vore station. Here we can see a gauge showing the distance to the radio beacon equipped with DME system. By the way, if you press the control button, the device should show a distance of 291 kilometers. The DME is working properly. There are 50 kilometers left to the Vore station. Дальше мы переключимся вот на этот маяк. While flying to Bor. I'll show you how to use the weapon system. Firstly, we have to turn it on. All these switches should all be in up position. This is heating system of missiles. This is the power switches of the pylons. This is a gun power switch, a sight, aim camera, but we don't need this.
This yellow indicator means that the cannon is ready to fire. The gun is always available for shooting in case if it turned on and the gears is up. Now the cannon is activated and we can shoot. This is how it looks from the outside. We hear the bore sound signal. By the way, we can use a regular radio panel. For this we need to set the zero channel on the RSVN panel. Now we will fly over the radio beacon. We just have flew over it. Switch to the next port. The 11th channel. Heading for the next RSVN, or station. External tank indicator lit up, which means the fuel in the tank has run out. Now we can drop the external fuel tank off. The tank has been dropped. The plane has become a little lighter and the throttle can be slightly reduced. Let's start with missiles. This panel is the weapon control. In order to activate air-to-air -air missiles, you must set the switch to the air position. That switch toggles between infrared targeting or active and passive radio targeting. Here we put the switch in the rocket position. With this switch, we are selecting which pylon will be active. 
Now, we have missiles on the third and fourth pylons. I put the switch on the launch position from pylon 4. This means that the leftmost pylon is selected. This missile is now selected. This red indicator signals that the missile is ready to launch. Press trigger. The rocket headed towards the target. Switch to the third pylon. The missile activation light comes on and we launch the second rocket. Now we are going to shoot unguided rockets. To do this, we choose the inner pylons. Here we can see section for selection of unguided rockets. This is the shooting of all ammunition. This is a series of 8 rounds. This is one rocket at a time. We choose a series of 8 rounds. We switch to the ground mode. Need to slow down a little. Release the air brakes to reduce the speed. Now let's choose a target. That's it. Let's go on the attack. mean that it is time to stop the attack, because the altitude is dangerous. Bombs are used in the same way. I will make a separate video tutorial for this. How to use weapons. Let's switch to the next one.
bring the plane to the level flight and turn off the weapon system. In the third part, we will look at the ILS approach procedure, as well as the operation of the autopilot in various landing modes.